welcome back. If you invested in a new HVAC system this year, heating and cooling system, then you know that the Department of Energy is requiring homeowners to buy more efficient, therefore more expensive, heat pumps and air conditioners. Now here's the twist. Efficiency standards now vary by region, and if you install a system with the wrong rating, you may be risking your warranty protection. Dow has more on this from our Valley View Live sponsor, Angie's List. Do you know your seasonal energy efficiency ratio? The SEER number on new HVAC systems now needs to be 14 instead of 13 in much of the country. If you install a 13 SEER unit where a 14 SEER is required, you violated state code and your manufacturer's warranty could be voided. If you have questions about the changes that have gone into place, you want to talk to your local heating and cooling company because they differ by region. The north could be different from the south or the southwest. So check with your local provider to know what pertains to you. You can still get your existing unit serviced, but if it needs to be replaced with a 14 sear system, it will likely cost around $5,000. It's not going to heat or cool any better than a 13 sear. It's just going to do it more efficiently. And how they do that, how the, how the manufacturers do that, the greater the coil surface area, the more efficient the unit we can transfer that heat, whether we're in heating mode or we're in cooling mode. If you are installing a new HVAC system, remember it's not going to be cheap, but you will get efficiency savings each month on your heating and cooling bill, and it can be an asset if you're going to be selling your house. Most homeowners should recoup the higher price of the system in just two to three years. You're protecting yourself from any kind of gas hikes, any kind of electrical hikes, when you do go to those 16 and above. So people are starting to realize, hey, now wait a minute. Let's, let's, take, let's, let's think about this. We're going to be in the house. Let's really think about how we're going to recoup our costs as quickly as possible. Well, experts say the new standards have not caused nearly as many issues as in the 2008 a season when requirements changed. And now Angie says your furnace should last 15 to 20 years. And if you're deciding between repairing or just buying a new one, Angie recommends it's best to choose repair if the cost is less than half the price of a new system and your current one is less than seven years old. If it costs more than half, you're better off investing in a new system. Angie's List is a proud sponsor of Valley View Live. 